Michael, reach and pull, 25 seconds, here we go. I keep saying I'll try a new location in this house, but <laughs> moving everything is not easy, so I haven't done it yet. I think there's better spots, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. Elbow to knee crisscross is next. All right, here we go. That went fast. Nice and tall on this. Take your face with the twist. On the beef, we will hinge and swing. All right, here's your beef. Hinge down, swing, flex the glutes. Thrust the hips forward on that. Should feel mostly glutes, legs, a little bit of back and abs. Next up is front kicks. All right, here we go, nice and tall. Front kick, alternate legs. On the beep, I want you to jog in place. And if you have space, I want you to jog around your room. You can go forward and back. You can do a small circle. I want you to move this time if you can. Here's your beep. All right, jog in place. You can go high knee. You can go heel to butt. You can keep it real low, but get a little lift. Core engaged. You can go forward and back if you want to. Five seconds and then we side skip across the room. Here's your beep, side skip, get some lift. Eight seconds left and then we will do modified jumping jacks and or regular jumping jacks. There's your beep. All right, modified jacks are here. Regular jacks if you can. If you're doing jacks, again, stay a little bit lifted. Think about quiet landings with your feet. And there's your beep. Okay. I want you to do alternating ooh, hip circles as I lose my balance. I just realized I am overdressed. It's actually kind of warm here today. And I'm dressed like it's not. About four more. Four, three, two, and one. Squat, side bend, squat down, upside. Alternate the side bends, go a little lower on every squat. Sit back in the heels, chest up, flex your glutes. Halfway. Almost done. Do one more. All right, we finish off three times. Big stretch up for the ceiling. Swan dive down, forward bend, nice and easy here. Bend your knees a little bit, roll it up. Abs are slightly engaged, do it again. Do it one more time, roll up. Big reach, forward bend, this time Sink into the forward bend, stay here. Rest your hands on your legs if you need the help. Try to straighten your knees a bit more. Let your torso hang heavy. Take three deep breaths. After that, bend your knees, roll yourself up. All right, turn in today's workout into a giant 
circuit. The exercises are three count wide step squat. Let me preview everything for you real quick. So you hold one dumbbell, step out at an angle so that you're in a wide stance, toes pointed slightly out. Three, two, one, pulse. Kick back to start, other side. That's exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna go right into an overhead tricep extension. We had skull crushers on the list before. You'll take one dumbbell, medium or heavy. You'll lower it behind your head, press it back up. Okay. Exercise, uh, first time through, you might wanna go medium just because it'll be like 45 seconds and you're not sure how heavy you should go. And if it's too easy, then you can go heavier. And then exercise three is alternating step ups on coffee table, bench, actual staircase. I am gonna use a chair today because I'm feeling good. So we're gonna alternate step ups. One leg up tap, other leg up tap. All right, if you wanna add that little plyo, you drive that knee up, slight hop on the top, soft landing on the way down. If you don't have something to step onto, alternating reverse lunges. Then we go to the floor for dumbbell bench press. So you'll grab your two heavy weights, go to the floor, then you're gonna pop back up and you're gonna do side skip, cross jab. All right, that's the thing. Oh, I'm out of breath just telling you what to do. Okay, 45 seconds of exercise, 25 seconds in between. I'm gonna set it for plenty of intervals and... Okay, that's right. Okay, so one dumbbell, medium or heavy, for your wide step squat, three count pulse at the bottom, holding that dumbbell at your chest. And during the squat, I want it really close to your chest. If you've got it out here, it's gonna pull you forward and maybe add some strain to your upper back. You're really just holding it for extra resistance. All right, so hug it to your chest, get set up, going in three, two, one. Here we go. Wide step squat, lower down, pulse three, two, one, back up, other side. Sit your butt back, weight is in the heels, knees are tracking with the feet. Now, if you worry about your knees wobbling, get set first, then lower into the squat. If that's not an issue for you, you can start lowering the minute you step out. Whatever's best for your knees. One giant circuit today, last exercise of this cycle. I already started planning the next cycle. Very excited about what we're gonna do. There's your beep, rest. Oh. Okay, a medium, heavy dumbbell to do overhead tricep extension. I don't know how to tip my camera for an up down workout like this. Grab your weight. You can hold it like by one bell, hold each bell with one hand. There's your beep. Now lower it behind your head, exhale, push it back up. I want you to brace your abs, squeeze your butt, exhale as you push, do not arch your back. If you have to arch your back a little on the last two or three reps, that's fine, but we're trying not to so we can isolate the triceps and not throw any awkward movement into our back. If you can't do the whole 45, it's fine. Triceps fatigue very quickly. So do what you can and then gently lower that weight in front of you when you're done. Try not to come out of it in an awkward way. Like don't pull it around your right shoulder, for example. Do that last press and then lower it in front of your face. There you go. All right. I've seen people tweak their shoulders just coming out of that exercise. Alternating step ups. I feel like these intervals are too short. Might be changing it for set two. Are they well? <laughs> hey, aren't you supposed to be muted? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Alternating step ups. Whole foot on that step. Here's your beat. Good. Up push, down, soft landing. Pushing through the heel. So get your whole foot up. Just the ball. Of Adding that hop if you can, not required. If you up touch, you get a little balance help at the top. If you up drive the knee, 
it's harder. And if you drive the knee with a hop, it's harder yet. So you get to pick and you can go back and forth between options as needed. Alternating lunges, if this isn't working. I already started shopping for boxes so that I can have the right equipment here. Here's your beep. All right, right away, get set up on the floor for dumbbell bench press. Incline push-ups or regular push-ups is an alternative. It'll work your chest. All right, face up, arms extended, palms facing your knees, brace your abs. Get ready, there we go. Lower it down, tap your upper arm to the floor, exhale, push. If you're on a bench, you don't have anything to tap. Pretend you have a barbell and you wanna to touch the barbell to your chest right at the bust line, not at your neck. I like to tap the dumbbells up together so that I'm not letting one arm go rogue. Exhale, push. I forgot to grab my heavier dumbbells for this. I've got mediums for this. Exhale, push. You can arch your back as long as your butt stays connected to the floor or bench. And nice and easy, carefully come out of that. Set those down, roll yourself up. You gotta pop up right away because we're doing side skip, cross punch. This one's longer than usual, it's 45 seconds. Normally we do 30, you got 10 seconds more. So take a few deep breaths. Four, three, two, one, go. Skip, 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 punch across, punch like you mean it. Bend your knees a little bit to go up more work in the thighs. Go a little bit for speed. You're pushing at a six or seven on your scale of one to 10. Whatever that might be today, seven is the sweet spot. Twelve seconds left, of course. Every time I check my timer, it says twelve seconds. I have a twelve-second radar. Whew. Start right up. Rest. Walk around. All right. I'm not going to increase the time. <laughs> Three-count squat coming up. Grab one dumbbell. I'm always like, "This is too easy." Then I get my heart rate up. I'm like, "Wait, no, it's not." All right, get into position. Wide step squat, three count pulse. There's your beep, go. Wide step, knees track out with the feet. Don't let them cave in towards center. That's what they might wanna do. Some trainers cue to kind of screw your feet outward a little bit, but I don't know. For me, I don't like that cue because then it makes me feel like I'm gonna overcompensate. But if your knees are caving in, that might be a good cue for you. So like from the knee down to the ankle, think of that as a screw, turn it outward just a smidge when you're in the bottom of that squat. Oh, rest. Okay, I added a heavier weight, that made a big difference. Overhead tricep extension is next. Adjust your weight up or down if you need to. Slow deep breaths at this point, eight seconds to go. Three, two, one, there's your beep, go. Lower down with control, exhale, push. Try to keep your elbows in a little bit tight to your head. And remember, brace the abs, glutes. Looking for strict, meaning no help from anywhere else. Went up and wait, so now I'm struggling. Whew. Almost done. 
five seconds left. Come out of it gracefully with good form. There's your beep, nice and easy. Lower that down in front. Set that aside, get ready for step ups or lunges, alternating legs. Me using this kitchen chair is a little bit of do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> a very sturdy chair, but I don't normally recommend this. Ready? Here we go. Up tap. So I usually do a couple safe variations first to make sure it's feeling okay before I add any hops or knee drive. Push down through that heel, lean into it just a bit, but mostly push down. Five seconds. Change your beep. Rest. Dumbbell bench press or push ups. All right, you got 12 more seconds. Start getting set up. Push those weights up toward the ceiling, palms facing your knees. Brace your abs. Touch those dumbbells end to end. There's your beep, lower down, exhale, push. Now remember, tuck those arms just a bit, not a lot. We don't like to flare our shoulders straight out to the side. That can promote impingement issues down the road. So tuck them just a little bit like wings. Imagine a bar coming down, touching your bust line. The thing about using this with dumbbells is you have to control each arm. You might find one arm goes down and up smoothly, the other wobbles around a little. That's normal. Working against that. All right, nice and easy. Come out of that, set those down, roll yourself up, get ready for side skips. I am overdressed. I'm going to get a good sweat today. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Eight seconds more. Side skip, cross punch in four, three, two, go. 45 seconds, push for a seven on scale one to 10. Get some lift. Also watch where you're doing this. Make sure there's no tripping hazards. Adjust if you can. Not looking at my timer. <laughs> Gotta be getting close. Rest, walk around. Slow deep breaths. Set three coming up. Get a drink if you need it. Real quick, don't drink a lot. Ten seconds and we go. Three count squat. Grab your dumbbell, get set up nice and tall to start. Brace your abs, there's your beep, go. Lower down three, two, one, press up. Always watch the knees, sit back in the heels, looking forward, not down. Ooh. Amazing what a difference between a medium and heavy dumbbell does on this one for me. <laughs> I could pulse fine, but that pushing up out of that third pulse is like, oh, molasses. There's your beep, finish that one. Rest, overhead triceps are next.
Grab your dumbbell, hold it by both ends or one end. I'm gonna try the piston method here. Up, down, get set up. There's your beep. Lower down with control, exhale, push. No change in the curve of your back. Brace your abs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, push, focus on the triceps. Think about those muscles flexing. Hard, getting hard. Hang in there and push. Brace those abs again. Sometimes we forget. We lose that connection. Oh, good. There's your beep. Rest. <laughs> I wasn't sure I could get many more. Probably two. Alternating step ups for a reverse lunge. Deep breaths, eight seconds. Three, two, one, go. Soft landings on the way down. When you do those soft landings, you're fighting against gravity. So your muscles are still working hard rather than just letting gravity push you down. And then you have a hard landing, which is a little harder on your joints. Four seconds, three, two, one. Push ups or dumbbell bench press. I love these workouts. <laughs> Quick and dirty. Get set up. Dumbbells up, abs braced. There's your beep go. Inhale down, exhale push. I know I've said this before, but you breathe out on the hard part of the move. Because when you exhale, you brace your abs a little bit, just naturally. The other thing I had someone ask me and I thought it was really interesting that, you know, things I don't realize is I do sort of a puff, like I'm blowing out a candle on a cake. That's my exhale. And a client was breathing like a ha, like a H-A sound with her mouth more open. So she felt like that would make her kind of hyperventilate. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you told me that. So something I never thought to explain. Nice and easy, there's your beep, lower those down. Get set up for side skips. Last cardio burst. And then we take a nice big break. 10 more seconds. Low deep breaths. Get ready, going in three, two, one, go. Skip, 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 punch. Punch like you mean it. Fifteen seconds left. <laughs> Last hard push. Go, go, go. Speed it up if you can. There's your beep. Woo, victory lap. Walk around. Try not to sit down. Sit down if you're dizzy or queasy. Otherwise, walk it off. Slow your breathing, training your recovery right now. Get a drink as well. We're done with the hard part. 